sometimes we may fall into the trap of thinking, oh, I've been baptized or, oh, I've been to the temple, so I've checked that off my mm -hmm. list. Uh, and Nephi tries to warn against that in 2 Nephi 31, 19. He says, and now, my beloved brethren, after you've gotten into this straight and narrow path, talking about baptism and repentance, I would ask if all is done. Behold, I say unto you, nay, for ye have not come thus far, save it were by the word of Christ, with unshaken faith in him, relying wholly upon the merits of him who is mighty to save. So coming back to that emphasis from the beginning, we always have to remember that Jesus Christ is our exemplar and he is the one that we look to and it's ultimately because of him that we have this. But we can't just say, oh, I've been baptized or oh, I've repented and I'm good. And so Nephi says to help warn you against that in verse 20, Wherefore, ye must press forward with a steadfastness in Christ, having a perfect brightness of hope and a love of God and of all men. Wherefore, if ye shall press forward, feasting upon the word of Christ and endure to the end, behold, thus saith the Father, ye shall have eternal life. Nephi gives us some things that we can do to stay faithful. Uh, Kellyanne, your example of saying, I'm continuing to go through the Book of Mormon. I'm continuing to read the good word. That means you're fulfilling exactly what the Savior said. And what Nephi is encouraging us to do is we have to continue on the process. So we get baptized, we repent. Well, we got to remember those baptismal covenants, partake of the sacrament mm -hmm. on a weekly basis, helps us to do that. And we have to continue to repent. And that's how we can endure to the end. <laughs>